This is the final picture. So let's begin. First take the crop tool and crop the image. I will use 1920 by 1080 pixel format for this image. Now select the background using any selection tool that you prefer. After selecting inverse the selection, then press Ctrl plus J to copy it to another layer. Unlock the background, then press Ctrl plus Delete to fill the background with black. Press Ctrl plus J to duplicate the layer. Take this to the bottom and hide it. It will remain as a backup file. Now take the rectangular marquee tool and start slicing the image. Delete this layer, we don't need it anymore. Now make visible all the layers. Go to Select Tool. Hold Shift and drag the layers to a specific position. Make sure your Auto Select is checked.
Now create a blank layer on top of everything. Hide the black background and press Ctrl Shift Alt plus E to take a snapshot. Convert it to smart object. Now duplicate it. I am naming the bottom layer blur and the other one, dark. Place all the segmented layers in a group. Now select the dark layer and slide it to the left. Shift click the blur layer and drag it to the right, to center the object. Now select the dark layer and reduce its opacity to 50%. Select the style inner bevel. Technique smooth. Depth 100%. Size 68 pixels. Angle 180 degree. Altitude 5 degree. Highlight mode, color dodge. Shadow mode, color burn. Now reduce its opacity. Now go to Filter. Blur. Gaussian Blur. Keep the settings same as before. Now make a new adjustment layer. Make sure your foreground color is black. Now select the brush tool and take a large brush. Now I will add a gradient to the image. I personally feel, it looks really nice in black and white, but for this tutorial, I will choose a different gradient. After selecting the gradient change the blending mode to soft light. If you feel it's too dark, then reduce its opacity.
So this is it for today. Don't forget to subscribe.